Hi, I'm Roland with Empress Computers, and today we're going to be discussing the difference between hard drive, which is your storage, and memory, or your RAM, which is where you temporarily store uh, your data as it's being accessed. So, a lot of people get confused, am I running out of storage, do I need more memory, do I need more hard drive space? So your hard drive, your programs, and your data is being written onto your hard drive. As it gets fuller, when it's more than 90% full, it will cause things to slow down. But up until that point, if you're 50% full, 60% full, it's not going to affect you. This is a desktop hard drive, that's a laptop hard drive, and this is a solid state hard drive. So, uh, anytime you load a program or you save files, this is where it's going to be stored. When you open up a browser or open up the program, then it's being stored temporarily on this. When you reboot your computer, it refreshes. So let's have a quick look at that. If you want to have a look at your storage on your computer, go to Computer, right click, go to Properties, and it's going to tell you. This will say, okay, it's a 919 gig capacity. We've used 75 gigs. Free space, 849. If we actually had 90% full, then it would actually start to cause slowdowns. With your RAM, right click at the bottom, go to Task Manager, and go to the Performance tab. And you'll see over here, total memory, 8 gigs, cached, 4.8 gigs, available, 4.8, 349. If I reboot the machine, then it's going to end up with more free memory. So if we look over here on this line, this is how much RAM you're currently using. And your processor, if your machine is running correctly, should always be around about 0 to 1%. It's only when you start opening up programs that it, that it will get used up. So now we're, going to be, now we're going to talk about a disk cleanup. Disk cleanup are temporary files stored on the, stored on the hard drive and you want to get rid of them because that's where a lot of viruses and spyware are going to emanate from your temporary internet folders. So, Windows 7, click on Start, All Programs, Accessories, come down to System Tools, and then do a Disk Cleanup. Click on OK. While that's running, if we go to the Windows 10, it's actually a little bit simpler in Windows 10, you just stop typing disk cleanup, up it, up it comes, click on that, and you see. This is now going to come up with a list of all the temporary files that we can get rid of. If you have recently deleted something and it's in your trash, you may want to check that in case you want to keep it. But otherwise, we're going to clean up your trash, we're going to clean up all your temporary folders. So when it comes up, a lot of this stuff is not actually needed. So we can just go down, and one of the options, there's your recycle bin, there's your temporary folders. Click on OK, and delete the files. Here on Windows 7, pretty much the same thing. Click on OK and delete the files. And that's something that is a good habit to get into about once a week. The next thing to do is to defrag your hard drive. As time goes by, when you delete files, when you load programs, things get written all over the place. And it's kind of like a filing cabinet. If you've got things not in any order, and it's a bit of a mess, it's going to take you longer to find the files. Same thing with your computer. Your computer goes down, it's trying to locate the file, part of it's over here, it's down here. It it's just becomes a bit of a mess over a period of time. You want to clean it up, get rid of the dead space. Uh, the important thing to remember, if you have a solid state drive, do not do a disk defrag on a solid state. It will reduce the lifespan and it's not going to increase the performance. So, let's come along. Again, similar place on Windows 7. All programs, accessories, system tools, disk defrag. You can analyze the disk to begin with, 
and then you hit defrag and it's going to put things in a nice order so when your computer needs to access the file it's going to access it quicker but again traditional drives it's okay to do it solid state it's not if you're not sure of the difference what your computer's got come into impress computers and we'll give you that information my name is roland and uh, today we've been speaking about hard drives and <laughs>